So now in this video we're going to look at the NOT gate or the inverter. And what that means is that the output will be the opposite of what the input is. We'll talk about that uh, coming up. But uh, first we're going to demonstrate a version of the uh, NOT gate made with a switch. So to begin with we have a 220 ohm resistor because we're using a 5 volt power supply to protect a red LED. Long lead the anode to the resistor short lead the cathode to that gray jumper going to ground and you can see we got somewhere around about 16 milliamps of current uh, approximately so that's just a normal LED uh, protected by a resistor right there we're going to take this push button switch and put the top pin where the LED and the resistor connect and then the uh, bottom uh, two pins over here the bottom two are always connected to each other and the top two are always connected to each other they're separated from top to bottom so right now the switch is off and the LED is on the LED would be on whether the switch is there or not as we saw earlier but if I turn the switch on now the LED turns off so when the switch is on LED off when the switch is off LED is on it's an example of a not gate Moving down the board here, we have a 2N3904 NPN bipolar junction transistor that we're going to make a NOT gate with. And uh, very similar to this one right here. 10,000 ohm resistor to the middle pin, the base. We got the emitter down here because the flat side is to the right. That is going to uh, ground. And then we have the collector up here. That is going to connect where the resistor and the LED connect. So because of the uh, pin layout, of the NPM bipolar junction transistor. I'm putting ground above the uh, positive uh, supply right there uh, that's connected to the resistor. And uh, so we're going to take the long lead, the anode to the resistor. Shortly, the cathode is going to go up one spot right there. And you can see the LED is lit up. Again, we get rid of the transistor, the LED stays lit up. The transistor is off right now. We're going to zoom back, and uh, you can see. We got about 15 milliamps of current, uh, almost all of that through the LED. And we will connect this jumper here. If we go to ground, the transistor stays off and uh, nothing happens. And uh, we'll zoom back a little bit more. We are to ground. We go to the positive supply. Now the transistor is on and the LED is off. As you can see, we got a lot more current going through the transistor than we did through the LED by itself. And finally our last example is the integrated circuit right here. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we come to the diagram. As you can see we don't have uh, hardly any current going out there. There is a, a little bit for various reasons but uh, one reason is that we have to power the integrated circuit. So positive supply to pin 14 and then negative supply to uh, Pin number seven here is the uh, negative supply down there. These other jumpers, they're going to inputs. So they're not powering it at all, even though they are to a power supply. They're just given a voltage. So the inputs don't let current go in or out, other than a very tiny trickle, but they need a voltage. We have this one floating here, which is probably why it says one milliamp a lot of times instead of zero. That's the input there, the output to this jumper coming across to these uh, two resistors. So you can see we got a couple LEDs up here. We're going to take the blue LED. We got the uh, positive supply there. We're going to take the long lead the anode to the resistor, 220 ohm, short lead the cathode down one spot there. So that lights up when the output is low and it's lit up now. So you would assume the output's low. It's actually alternating high and low about 60 times a second. So it's so fast that it just looks like the LED is steadily on. And uh, we got this resistor to the negative supply. And uh, so we're going to put the short lead, the cathode of the red LED to the resistor. Long lead the anode to the output. So that's going to light up when the output is high. As you can see, they both uh, look lit up. And the reason why is because we're getting stray signals to uh, pin number one up here. The input for that output right there. So we're going to take a jumper. Now again, this is a NOT gate or an inverter. It inverts what the input is. So the blue LED, we have the uh, resistor coming 
from the positive supply. So as we said before, the output needs to be low for the blue LED to light up. So to make the output low, the uh, negative supply, we're going to connect to the positive supply with our jumper to the input right there. Again, the input doesn't let current in or out. It's just looking at the voltage. So high input is low. It's connected to ground as good as it can do. Uh, ground to uh, that jumper there to light the blue LED. Now we will remove this and we'll talk about the red LED. So the red LED, you can see we got ground on this side, the low side, so we need the output to be high. And uh, to do that, we're going to take the jumper and go to ground the low right there and the red LED lights up. It's as close to the positive supply as it can get and then the current is set by the resistor right there. So here's the schematic of the LED with the switch. You can see that we got the current limiting resistor in the LED. It's naturally on as long as the switch is open. If we close the switch we'll have a direct connection to ground on both sides of the LED. So whatever current gets through the resistor will go directly to ground. With the LED the uh, current is going to be a little bit lower. We're going to have about 13.6 uh, milliamps of uh, current or uh, 0 0.0136 amps and uh, the wattage there you can see that's for the resistor is about 0 0.04 watt. Remember most resistors are 0.25 watts a uh, quarter watt and you want to keep it below about uh, 0.125 watts. Without uh, the LED just the switch we have a direct connection to ground across the resistor you can see we got about 22.7 milliamps of uh, current and then you multiply that times uh, 5 volts now across the resistor we got about 0.1135 watts so just a little bit below the 0.125 watts that uh, we want to stay below. The NPN bipolar junction transistor worked basically the same way. We had uh, 5 volts across the resistor and the LED right there so that it is on because uh, the transistor is naturally off. We could go directly to ground or leave it floating although leaving it floating you may get a stray signal. If we go to the positive supply though we'll get a little bit of current through that 10,000 ohm resistor base 2 emitter that will allow it to conduct pretty much freely from collector to emitter and it will take away the current just like the mechanical switch did. The integrated circuit that we used was the 74HC14 on the breadboard right there so HC that means high speed CMOS there's other versions out there but this is the main one right now it's a 7400 series integrated circuit there's a whole bunch of them if it says 14 that means it's a hex Schmidt trigger inverter right there so again inverter when it comes to a digital electronics is the same as a NOT gate whatever the input is the op output will be the opposite high versus low and uh, so A is the uh, input and Y is the output you can see there's six of them for the hex there's the uh, positive supply and the negative supply so we said uh, Schmidt trigger before if you look at a, a schematic for one of these logic gates and it's a Schmidt trigger you'll see a symbol that looks like this within it and here is a schematic diagram of the circuit that we looked at so when it comes to these 7400 series integrated circuits it's uh, generally safe to assume you can use 5 volts for them you should always check the data sheet though but uh, some of them the high speed CMOS version you can vary that voltage a bit uh, not a lot even with the HC version but in any case look at the data sheet for the particular one you're using so we got one of these six uh, not gates right there and uh, so you may see 1-6 and uh, if there's more of them on the schematic you may see 2-6, uh, 3-6 and uh, so on but in any case we got our input I had a little jumper that went to either the positive supply or the negative supply so here you can see, I zoomed in a little too close, and uh, there we go, that uh, I have the uh, power pins uh, listed right there. That's actually, actually pin 14 and that one uh, pin 7 down there. You may not see this on the schematic, but you always have to power the integrated circuit. So that's what it's showing is the integrated circuit powering there. That's why I made it gray there a little bit lighter. So we got the output. So sometimes the output is high if the uh, input is low. Outputs high. It gets as close to 5 volts. You probably do lose some voltage 
but in case that is close to 5 volts as it can and it will light the red LED as we put there. So a long lead anode on the left there, a short lead the cathode to the right. Now when the output is low because the input is high then we got uh, ground there. So we got a current path through that uh, current limiting resistor and the LED going to ground and you probably lose some voltage there maybe not as much as the positive supply I don't remember exactly uh, but uh, any case blue LED is naturally brighter than the red LED so we could use a higher value resistor for the blue LED to limit current a little bit more and uh, even out the uh, brightness a little bit but uh, this was fine for our uh, demonstration and uh, to wrap it up we have the not gate uh, true table right here so all the logic gates I think there's uh, six of them but in any case the uh, logic gates have a truth table that lets you know what the output is going to be in relationship to the input so if the input is one which is high five volts if it's a uh, five volt circuit and it doesn't have to be exact these are a digital generally speaking close to 5 volts if it's a 5 volt power supply then the output will be low so in this case uh, it's close to 0 volts as it can get uh, low and uh, we got 0 there it could also be off for low and on for high as we saw before with the push button switch now if the input is low so 0 volts in this case close to 0 volts then the output will be high or close to uh, 5 volts right there so in any case this video went on uh, plenty long hope you enjoyed and uh, check out one of the other videos that I'm posting the screen also check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video